What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this is the Google Pixel 6a. We're officially in 2023. And even though the Pixel 7a is rumored to come out sometime this year between May and August, I still think you should buy Pixel 6a in 2023. And here's why. All right, so I think when we're talking about a Pixel device, we can't continue on a conversation without talking about the camera, which is a huge reason why you should pick up Pixel 6a. And if those who watch MKBHD's uh, blind smartphone video, uh, where he takes a bunch of smartphones, uh, takes photos of them, and has the audience vote on which photo comes out best, and Pixel 6a performed one of the best um, and wins titles in his video, um, you would understand because in essence, Pixel has nailed it. Just the Pixel series in general, Pixel A and just regular Pixel 5, 6, 7, whatever it is, has nailed it in the camera department. Overall quality, you're getting crisp, saturated photos that just look good. You pull out the camera, you just take a photo just like this and you're all set to go. That's it. Computational photography on Google Pixel devices is amazing. Uh, and with Pixel 6a, you can't go wrong. Why? Because look, you're not getting the, all the features. You're not getting a uh, telephoto. You're not getting a fourth and fifth lens. That's okay. You're just getting a wide and ultra wide, but they compete with flagship devices uh, with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Some here may disagree, uh, but from what I see and testing them out, they compete with flagship devices and Pixel 6a is just pick it up you're all set to go. Like you can rely on this camera to take good photos. And for many uh, who are looking to pick up a six, Pixel 6a, um, that is one of the things, like they're not going to be nitpicking about it. They're just going to pick it up and take a photo and share a memory of the photo that they took. And you can rely on Pixel 6a. I'll be sharing some sample photos uh, on screen, but I think you kind of understand the gist of it for years, we've been hearing how good Pixel cameras are uh, and the fact that Google is not limiting it or well, just for their pro devices like Pixel 7 Pro or their higher end devices. They're also bringing that same quality to Pixel A series devices like Pixel 6a, even its predecessors performed really well. And we can look forward to future A devices to perform really well too, but you just can't go wrong with camera on Pixel 6a. All right, let's talk about software on Pixel 6a. So when this was initially unveiled, it did release with Android 12 and three years of major OS upgrades. And we got Android 13. So we're gonna be getting Android 14 and 15. But the great thing about Pixel devices, including the A series, you're getting them on day one. So in 2023, when Google decides to release Android 14, you're gonna be getting it the same day as well as the Pixel 6. So both of them are going to be getting Android 14 on the same day, which is a huge um, benefit to having it come straight from Google on day one to software. But for me, I personally like just Material U, Android 13 has made it better for optimization, has cleaned up a lot of bugs here and there. With Android 13 in my experience on Pixel 6a, I haven't come across any bugs stutters, any of that sort. Um, I've heard complaints about oh, it being 60 hertz and it's not the greatest display. Okay, I get it, it's 60 hertz, but it hasn't drawn me away from not, from wanting to use the device. You know what I mean? Like it's, I still enjoy using the phone. It still has a really good display, but just the fact that the software uh, paired up with Google Tensor chip, that's their first generation chipset, which is still great, but they're using their in-house silicon uh, rather than like a mid-range Snapdragon uh, chipset. And I'm all for it. And Google is going to continue doing this with their future A-series. Uh, so you're really getting the entire package straight from Google. The design, the build, the software, the in-house silicon coming straight from Google. And those who use Pixel devices know how great software is and know how clean software is. So like Samsung, for example, they're good with Material U, their icons match their wallpapers, the same as how the icons on the Pixel 6a here match 
the color of the wallpaper, which is my latest wallpaper pack, is called Retro, just launching it at the beginning of 2023. I absolutely love this wallpaper. I've been rocking this wallpaper uh, for about a month at the time of this recording. I absolutely love it. It's probably uh, my top three favorite wallpapers that I have made so far. Uh, and I'll be leaving a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. You're getting about seven different uh, wallpaper colors uh, to match your phone. Uh, you can change it once every day and have a different wallpaper color of the week. Uh, it's all up to you, but I'd love to see uh, your home screens and you guys can uh, share your home screens with me on Twitter. I'll be leaving all the links in the description down below, uh, but retro, here it is, my latest wallpaper pack goes perfect with Android 13. You know, with Pixel A series devices, price and value is important. It's a huge thing. I mean, looking at this device, it's carrying almost everything from its older brothers, the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, uh, and bringing it into a smaller form factor. Same build, uh, at least in design-wise, uh, you're getting a fingerprint sensor, which is pretty good. It's not the fastest, but nonetheless, I'm happy that it's there. You're getting Google Tensor. You're getting latest software on day one. You're getting stellar cameras for what? $449. The 60 Hertz for me, that does not, is not a deal breaker for me. Uh, and I've seen this device for as low as $299. They frequently go on sale. I'll be leaving links in the description down below of the Pixel 6a if you want to check it out. Uh, be sure to check it out frequently and if it's on sale for $299, especially for that particular price when it goes on sale, it's a it's a no-brainer. Pick it up, buy it. Like if I uh, sometimes I think about it, if I were in that position where I'm looking for a phone and I came across the Pixel 6a for $299, I would definitely go for it. Uh, but I'll be leaving, uh, also updating my community post uh, with deals here and there of different devices like the Pixel 6a. Uh, but I know price is a huge factor for many when picking up new products, including smartphones. I worked in the mobile department at Best Buy a couple years back, and that's one thing I noticed. We're, you know, we're activating a phone uh, through whatever network and carrier. When we get to the end phase, uh, where up until then, you know, the customer has not asked about the price or beforehand they ask in some instances, they ask at the very beginning, what's the pricing? You know, they're really set to buy it. And then you tell them the price, they're like, oh, well, it's a little too much. It's too much out of my budget. Even if there's deals going on uh, and they're not, you know, still swayed for it. But for $299, you can't go wrong with Pixel 6a. Look. The reason why I'm talking about Pixel 6a in 2023 and other smartphones in future videos is we've come to a point where the state of smartphones in 2023 is um, very incremental and small upgrades. Uh, some smartphones have really huge upgrades year over year, but for most, they're really small incremental upgrades. But Google, I think in the past year, year and a half, uh, with their revamp of the Pixel 6 series and beyond, has nailed it. Google, whatever you're doing, uh, whatever formula you're using, keep it up and just follow the same formula. You're doing a great job. I've been seeing more and more Pixel devices out uh, in the real world. So that's a huge thing. And if you have a Pixel 6a, you can't go wrong. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to zoom in that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the YouTube channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.